last speaker today is uh, uh, Silvina uh, Garrido, close enough, yeah. sorry, <laughs> who's from the INTA uh, experiment station in Argentina. It's going to be speaking on um, uh, control of green peach aphid uh, in organic plum orchards. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for this space uh, where I will tell you about our work in Argentina about uh, green peach aphid control uh, in organic plum orchard. So, okay. Argentina is the most important producer uh, of plum in the southern hemisphere. The production is mainly exported to Brazil, to Brazil, USA, Union Europe, mainly Netherlands, and it occupies the fourth place in the Argentinian export uh, of organic fruit and the and, uh, first position in the domestic market. The mainly varieties are uh, Black Amber, Linda Rosa, Angeleno, Black Diamond, every, uh, etc. Okay, so uh, in Argentina there are five regions uh, producing uh, plum, but uh, the most important ones are two. Mm, this is oh so, sorry, mm -hmm. Cusho region and Patagonia region. From Cusho region, uh, the most important producers province are Mendoza and San Juan, and Patagonia from Rio Negro and Neuquén. I'm from a high valley of Rio Negro and Neuquén. In this picture, we can see this area. Okay. The organic plant production is possible because the weather conditions are optimal and limit the development of sanitary problems. But, but uh, there are uh, two, um, two pests, two key pests in plant production that deserve uh, our attention in pest management. There are Cydia molesta and Misus persica. In the Cydia molesta case, uh, the control is very effective with mate. Oh, sorry. Mm, okay. Okay. Is uh, very effective with mating uh, disruption technique. Uh, this technique is uh, reduced that fruit damage below 0.2%. But up to now, uh, there are an organic tool uh, for aphid control, okay, resulting in defoliation and premature fruit fall, okay. The control of uh, last pest mentioned uh, is the the aim of our this work. Hmm? So, the following table shows the insecticide used for the control of aphid in this work. Mm, okay, in treatment number one, VCP was used. Uh, it is botanical insecticide made of uh, Melia acederach, 80%, Allium sativum, 8%, and Casuarina cuningamiana, 12%. It is, uh, was used uh, 500 uh, cubic centimeter per hectoliter and was applied to uh, on uh, September the 25 in petal fall and was necessary reapply on October the 15. Okay, in treatment number two, the nemasal was used, uh, which is made of asadirectina, 1.2%. Uh, is extracted from uh, neem tree, okay? It was used to, there are 150 cubic centimeter cubic per hectoliter. And I was only one application in, on September the 25. And treatment number three, 
was the control and profit. Okay, so, okay. This slide shows the, machi the machine used uh, to apply the insecticide. This machine uh, is composed by four container by uh, for each treatment and this uh, application is manually carried out by a hose. This is a hose, hose, hose. The experimental design was completely randomly uh, with four, okay, four, one, two, three, four replication per treatment and three, three, uh, three per replication. One, two, three. And five shoots per three, okay? So they are uh, 60 shoots uh, per treatment in total, okay? So in this slide shows uh, that we used uh, an anaphid counting method designed by um, Costa Comeches in 1991. This method, this method, uh, in this method, there are six levels uh, with a rank of an anaphid number each. For instance, in degree or level number three, uh, take from uh, 51 to 70 aphid. Hmm? Okay, this um, uh, we can see in this photo. In this photo, um, uh, in the most affected level is degree number five. In this, uh, it is take from 101 to 200 or more, uh, as we can see in the below photo. This is the most affected level. Okay. So, uh, in this graphic, show the result. Hmm? Uh, in this uh, degree average uh, um, per shoot, and in this uh, the date when the sample weight uh, were taken. Okay, as I just mentioned, the VCP and Nemasal was applied on. Uh, September the 25th at Petal Fall. And then the affin number decreased, notably decreased, hmm? except in the control, as we can see in the yellow curve. But uh, toward October, in treatment number one with VCP, uh, the affin number increased again. So I was necessary reapply uh, uh, in October. Uh, well, this, this is indicated by this arrow, the second application with BGP. And then the affin number decreased. Um, at the last research, the affin number decreased in all treatment, on, in all treatment. Uh, due to it, the predatory action of Lady Beetle, uh, Coccinellia, okay? So, in this table, we can see the aphid uh, average um, for each treatment, for each date, okay? Uh, the degree, um, it is very important, the degree, um, okay. the degree of infestitude were retransformated to aphid number, okay? And were calculated the aphid average, okay? For a, a statistical analysis. So the first column, the first column, uh, indicate the day previous at application of insecticide. And the other columns, and the other columns, other days when we take, uh, we took the sample, okay? We can see in BCP treatment, uh, the affin number star increase from 16, from 16 up to the time of the second application in the, in this point, the second application. Uh, and when, and then decrease again, okay? In nemasal treatment, in nemasal treatment with only application, remember this is very important, only application the nemasal, 
the acid number the from uh, take it from near of five uh, uh, to fifteen to fifteen to fifteen. Okay, and uh, in the control, sorry, uh, there is a, a mistake. Testigo is in Spanish, it's not in English. Sorry, uh, the number three in the control. Um, the acid number always increase, but the acid number, uh, of course, decrease at the final uh, in the research, okay? Um, due to it, the predatory action of coccinellida, uh, as I just mentioned, okay? So, here uh, we can see some of coccinellides that actively predator on aphid such as such as coccinella and coralis, uh, olia SP, um, estetorum punctum is, is very common in my country, estetorum, and simus SP. Okay, in this work, um, no found other predator, uh, but in other cases, uh, there are uh, sylphid fly and um, imenopteran parasitoides, but no in this work. In this world, only lady bitches, okay? So the maybe the last slide. In this, uh, in this slide, uh, we can see the end of the research and the state uh, the tree uh, end up, okay? Okay, it's, it's very important. The most effective control, uh, most uh, defoliating, okay? And BCP and Nemasal, is apparently similar, but in conclusion, uh, Nemasal was the most the most effective insecticide because, remember, with uh, only one application, uh, keeping uh, population keeping population under 15 aphid per shoot during the period of highest risk. Uh, of Mrs. Persica attack. Okay, um, the last, oh yes, it's the last. Thank you, thank you very much for this uh, space, for your attention, for listening. Thank you. <laughs>